All right, so as you can see, we have the uh, EK, EGK4 uh, mount kit from Hasport for the 92 to 95 Civic and the 94 to 90, 94 to 01 um, Acura Integra. And this is for a K swap for, with the um, Accord or TSX Trans. Now, let me tell you this. I would have loved to been able to get the um, eBay mount kit for, you know, like 200 bucks, I think it is. Go check out VHB Engines. He has a build going on right now, K-Swap build. Go check him out. A really good friend of mine. Um, and he's kind of doing it the cheat way. And I would have loved to do it that way. He's kind of proven, damn, I'm, I'm rambling my sentences, but he's kind of proven that it can be done for cheap. Um, he has the eBay mount kit, but I believe he has a EP3 trains. Um, so you can pretty much get the eBay mount kit for any transmission except the TSX and the Accord. Hasport is the only company that makes tr um, the K swap mount for the K swap K swap mount kit for the Accord or the TSX transmission. Innovative doesn't make it. Hybrid doesn't make it, eBay doesn't make it. So I was kind of stuck spending $529 or some shit like that. I was kind of stuck spending that much money for um, the Accord and CSX transmission, um, which is kind of a catch-22 because you get the Accord or TSX transmission. Not, not necessarily the TSX, but the Accord transmission, you definitely get that if you're on a budget. So um, hindsight, um, I guess like if I could get an e I would get an EP3 trans and get the cheaper kit um, Rather than getting the cheaper transmission and the more expensive kit Because like I said, it's, it's a four hundred dollar difference. I'd rather put that four hundred dollar difference in the EP3 trans I believe because I believe the EP tra EP3 trans has shorter gearing than the um, Accord now the good side about this is if I want to go six speed without going um, crazy, uh, like all motor uh, gearing, I could just swap to the TSX transmission and have that and still have this uh, mount. Either way, the mount is good to have um, because if I go like RSX or something type S or something like that, I can probably try to buy that mount separately. Um, all the other mounts are the same, so it, it, it isn't a big difference. But if you are going with an Accord or TSX transmission, you have to get the motor mounts from Hasport. Point blank period. Or you have to get them from a supplier that supplies Hasport. No matter what you think, if you have an Accord or TSX transmission, you're getting your mounts from Hasport. So I got the um, Hasport motor mounts. I got the... Um, I got them in all black. I got them in a 62 year thing just so I don't have a bunch of vibration and everything. I'm not going crazy in, in, in uh, this build right now. Um, if I go turbo if I or if I go like super all motor with, you know, a short gear and trans, I'll upgrade the um, motor mounts at that point. But for now, um, this will work. This is what I wanted. I kind of wanted to be a like smooth ride. I just wanted to be quick and I wanted to be clean. So um, let's go ahead and unbox these things. As soon as I find my razor blade, let's see if I can get it without the razor blade. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. <gasps> All right, this is my first time opening it. You're seeing it here with me. Usual papers and shit. Papers. More papers. Uh oh, messing up my desk. Messing up my desk. Alright, so what I have here is what I think is the transmission mount. Which I think I am correct. So, shit, let me. All right, so we got the transmission right, mount right here. Nice and no homo thick. You know, it is what it is. It's a transmission mount, I believe. Um, nice little Hasport sign right here. EGK4RRB, whatever that means. 
So we got that. Next, we have, and I'm not even sure what all these is. Um, this is a rear mount as well. This looks like it sits on that back plate. Um, nice, nice looking polyurethane. It's Hasport, you know, it's gonna be nice. But I did get the all black, which I love. Most of them, most of them that I see is like the aluminum or the raw metal. But um, yeah, man, this thing is nice. So I'm assuming, you know, you got that going on like that. But anywho, we'll leave these right here. Oh man. Anyway, boom. A little paper, paper, and another mount. So right here we have the I really don't know what any of these are. Um, another mount. Not sure what it is. Going to have to do some research. Oh, this looks like the. This, this looks like the um, passenger side mount. I mean, driver side mount. I'm thinking. This looks like the driver side mount. Maybe, possibly. I got to get them all out to see. But I know the passenger side mount looks different than this, so I'm assuming this is the driver side mount. And I probably should have did more research on it, but I definitely, I definitely don't know these, you know, all break. This is the bolts and stuff, I think. Yep, bolt kit. Nice and unlabeled. We'll figure them out, but this is the bulk kit. All right, next on the list, we have a mount. All right, so I think this is the driver's side mount as well. Goes here, like so. So yeah, this is definitely the driver's side mount. Let me go check the car real quick. <clears throat> yep. This is the driver's side mount. This goes in the driver's the mount position. That clicks up to that, and then that goes to the train or the um yeah, this goes to the trains pretty much. So we got that. We'll take out this bracket right here. This is what I believe is the passenger side bracket. And I am correct. This is the passenger side bracket. This is the part that um, pretty much you got to drill the other one off. Slide this on. The two lo mysterious long bolts go through here and nuts at the bottom. So this is your passenger side mount. This goes on the motor mount. Engine mount. And this is the actual bushing and stuff. So this will go here. Hmm. We'll figure out how that mounts. Alright, so. Here goes your engine mount on your passenger side. The lighting kind of sucks. I'm sorry. The, the, my, um, my camera is acting crazy right now. Here we go. Let's see. Anywho, got your mount that goes on your passenger side mount right here. And then um, this goes right there. It is adjustable. You got your two holes. Boom, man. And that's it, man. That's your mounts for your case swap. I mean, we ready to go. I think I'm going to weld this one on. Um, but, man, nice quality. Their welds look about as good as I can do. Nothing crazy, but... We official, man. We can officially mount our case swap. Check it out.
That's it, man. And that's it. K swap mounts. We got our um, passenger side, the one that we got to um, cut off pretty much. Add these two bolts. You see, that's the adjustable part. The motor mount for that side. Engine mount, I'm sorry. And then we have the driver side right here. These three are bolted up to this mount right here. Driver side mount, which will go on the transmission technically. And then we have our rear mount right here. Bolts and washers and stuff. And our rear motor mount. There we are, all in its glory. Maybe I should swap this out like that. That right there, so all the mounts are up top. That. There we go. Alright, guys, if you're ready for this build, man, like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Click the notification bell, too. Click the notification bell.